Hi, I'm Kauri Kimas from Yahoo Japan. This work has collaborated with Kunihiro Kato and Yoshihiro Kawahara. I'll be presenting the paper, Aidachi Gadget, Extending Interactions on Capacitive Touchscreens by Converting Light Emission to Touch Inputs. Touchscreens are originally designed to detect when the touch is. More recently, to increase the expressiveness of touch inputs, various researchers have focused on input techniques that use conductive materials embedded in passive interfaces. These have proven useful in a large variety of applications. However, these techniques require finger contact for the entire duration of the interaction. As a further improvement, researchers have developed extension with active circuits. These techniques enable touches to be simulated by using relay switches. They exhibit favorable reliability and best air capabilities. However, these require additional maintenance costs. To address this, we propose right touch gadget. Passive interfaces embedded with right dependent resistors in 3D printed components. It simulates finger touches by controlling screen brightness and the needs of gadgets. For the prototype implementation, we used an FDM based 3D printer with dual extruders. What technique to control touch inputs allows not only simple automation of touch inputs, but also opens up new possibilities for interaction with touch screens. Let me explain the working principle. In this example, the brightness of touch screen is increased for a moment. The LDR senses screen brightness and it decreases its resistance value. At this moment, the LDR acts as a switch to connect the path between the ground and touch screen, and then the touch input is simulated. White touch gadget can perform any touch input by controlling the screen brightness. With the basic structure, there are several properties that can be customized to create different types of interactive designs. Firstly, it is possible to apply the reactor structure of typical interfaces. In addition to circular reactors, the gadget can employ thin lines or fine grid of reactors to simulate continuous finger movement. Second, the gadget can simulate any touch input according to the right pattern. These are some examples of patterns for line-shaped reactors. Since these patterns change the grounded and ungrounded states of the electrodes seamlessly, they can simulate scrolling. Next, in addition to the binary touch input, the low capacitive data can be used for detecting a continuous change in the resistance value of LDRs. Lastly, there are two options for connecting the ground to simulate touch input without using fingers. Here we briefly report on several applications generated from an online workshop. The concept of translating user action into touch gesture was proposed. In this gadget, only the LDR that are not shielded by the plate simulate touch input. This enables the touch gesture to be controlled by user action from any mechanism, such as a foot pedal connected to the plate. Another concept involves the idea of data communication between devices. The basic idea is that input by right emission on the touch screen are transmitted to another touch screen as touch input. Here is another variation of the inter-device applications. The gadget has a reactors in a grid layout. By simply holding the screen over the gadget, it simulates the finger movements on a two-dimensional plane. This can be used for pattern local authentication in room security systems. Some concepts involve the idea of tangible applications. The continuous change in resistance value avoids adaptive tinkerings, allowing the gadget to be detected for long periods of time. When the user places the gadget on the touch screen, the corresponding application appears inside it. For more details on the technical variation, please see our paper. Thank you.